What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the J All Day Sports Show. I got a great video lined up for you all today. We're doing postseason predictions for Major League Baseball every single round up to the World Series. It's Red October everyone. The Phillies have a buy in the first round. We got tons of great games we're going to talk about. Make sure you stick around. October is finally here everyone. There's a little crisp in the air and that means playoff baseball. There's nothing better than Major League Baseball in the playoffs. It's a long season man. You can kind of lose interest over 162 games. I love sports and I love the Phillies and it gets hard to watch 160 games man. But when the playoffs are here, the crowds are rocking, the energy is up. Let's get that energy up. So let's start with the wild card round for the National League. We got the Mets first Reese Hoskins and the Brewers. Lindor launched the Mets into the postseason, and I look for Lindor and that offense with Brandon Nimmo and some other guys that I really like. The Polar Bear, Bear Pete Alonzo, they're going to move on to the division round and take on the Phillies. Next up, we got the Braves and the San Diego Padres. There's not a hotter team in Major League Baseball than the Padres since the All-Star break. The best record, the best run differential, that success continues. They move on to take on the Dodgers. The Braves are banged up, man. They don't have their full lineup. They don't have their full rotation. It's a huge ask for them to beat the San Diego Padres. I don't think it happens. Padres move on to the division round. Now, let's move to the American League. I really like the Tigers' bullpen, man, and I think they're going to score just enough runs, and Jordan being hurt is huge for the Astros. It looks like he's going to play, but he's not 100% right. So I like the Tigers to upset the Astros and move on to the division round. Next up, the Royals, who somehow always make it to the playoffs, it seems like. And the Orioles, what a fun series. A lot of young talent on these teams, but I think the Orioles do just enough to move on. I like that young pop in that lineup. I think they're going to score a lot of runs this year. They have a little more experience. They're not as green as they were in years past. I like the Orioles to move on to the division round. Next up, the division round, guys. Are real. Who else wishes it was seven games and not five? I hate that it's five games. I think it's really stupid in my opinion. But hey, let's start with the American League. The Indians, that lineup is too deep. I think they're just a better team than the Tigers. I'm worried about that pitching staff though. If the Tigers won this series, I would not be surprised. But right now, I'm going with the Cleveland Indians. I don't love their rotation though. They won 92 games this year, but I do not love this rotation. Yankees and the Orioles. I think this Yankees lineup is just too deep, especially in a five-game series where pitching doesn't really come into play as much, right? I'm going with the Yankees to move on to the AL Championship Series. Next up, we have the National League Division Series, the Mets versus the Phillies. I like the Phillies in this spot to move on. They have one of the deepest, if not the deepest, lineup in the entire major leagues, right? They got some power, but that lineup is hot and cold, right? But I think the pitching, Aaron Nola, Zach Wheeler, and I hope they start Christopher Sanchez over Ranger Suarez, who's been an abomination in the second half. He continues to get shelled start after start. You can't start him. Sanchez has to be the guy. I look for the Phillies in that lineup to score a lot of runs and put away the Mets pretty early. This is the best series I think we're going to see in the playoffs. San Diego Padres and that scorching hot lineup with – a very, very formidable pitching staff. I think they have the best 1-2-3 punch in the playoffs right now. Going against the Dodgers, who don't have a number 3 starter, right? Walker Buehler has really struggled this year, and I'm going with the momentum play. I'm going with the Padres and the Dodgers to disappoint again. Pitching wins championships in October. And unless they get balling starts from the number 1 and number 2 starters... I think the Padres clean up and win this series. I think it goes five games. I think it goes the distance, though, but I like the Padres to win it. Next up, we've got the Philadelphia Phillies, San Diego Padres in the National League Championship Series, the Indians, and the Yankees in the ALCS. Who are we going with, guys? Do we like the Yankees here? Yeah, we like the Yankees. Garrett Cole and company get the Yankees back to the World Series, right? 
I love their lineup. I think they're going to pitch just enough. I think in a seven-game series, we're really going to see the lack of depth in this Indians rotation. And the Yankees score a lot of runs. They outscore the Indians. They get back to the World Series. Now, the Phillies versus the San Diego Padres. I think the Phillies' bats go cold in this series, guys. We've seen a lot of inconsistency over the season, even though they won 95 games. But they could have easily won 105, 110 games if they hit consistently, pitch consistently. That bullpen still concerns me a little bit. And the Padres are just scorching hot, and they're going to ride that ticket all the way to the World Series and upset my Phillies. Phillies tail between their legs again. they got to go out and get some more pitching, some more bullpen help, maybe another outfielder or two. We'll see. It's going to be a close series. I think it goes seven games, but I'm going to go with the Padres to win it here. Now, Yankees, Padres, who wins the World Series this year? I think the most complete team in Major League Baseball, when you look at lineups and a pitching staff that is very, very talented and very unheralded, I'm going with the Padres to win it all, guys. They're going to win it all. They're going to beat up on the Yankees. I'm going six games. The Padres win the World Series. I'm hoping I'm wrong and the Phillies can get hot and use those bats, those Schwar bombs and Red October to get to the World Series and win, possibly. But I don't see it. I'm going with the momentum, man. The Padres have been so good. They're outscoring people. They're outpitching people. The run differential is huge in the second half because they're not only hitting well, they're pitching extremely well. That's why I think the San Diego Padres are the 2024 World Series champions. As a Phillies fan, I'm really sad to see it but I don't want to see the Yankees win again. I don't want to see the Astros win again. We need a National League team to come up with a big W. So that's how it goes, guys. We've got the Yankees coming out of the American League to represent the American League in the World Series, but they can't get it done. The lack of pitching depth comes back to haunt them, and the San Diego Padres win it all, baby. Your 2024 Major League Baseball World Series champions are the San Diego Padres. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like these kind of baseball updates? I could preview series, preview games. I want to know in the comments below if you guys are into baseball content. Because mostly I do MMA and football on this channel. But I've been getting some baseball requests. So here it is, guys. Phillies move on to the NLCS. But the Padres beat them. Then they go on to beat the Yankees in the World Series. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.